What's up guys, Tao here. One of the very useful features within the new iPad OS 13 and iOS 13 update is the ability to connect to your Mac and Windows machine by using SMB protocol, a server message block protocol. Uh, either use wire or wireless within your home network. Today I'll be showing you how to connect the uh, iPad. Here I have an iPad Pro, a 2018 model, and connect to your Mac or Windows uh, using the SMB protocol. Uh, this also applied to the phone as well. To enable sharing on the Windows machine, you will need to uh, share the drive or drives you want to share within your home network. Uh, right click on the drive and the um, property and then advanced sharing um, and then click share this folder uh, and also click on the permissions you can give or you can add a user to this group. So click on add. If you have a name, uh, type in the name of the computer and then check. Here I have a my name and this workstation, which is my computer's name, and then click on OK. Here you can see right now the permission is only read, uh, will give a full access to me and then apply, click on OK and then apply it again and click on OK. You can see here on the side of the drive there is a kind of a sharing or group icon. That means this folder is shared within my home network. After you share the drive, the next step is find the IP address of the computer. Uh, you need to open a setting and then a home network. And then my instance, I'm using Ethernet, clicking on Ethernet and change adapter options and cl double click on the Ethernet and then details. Here is my uh, IP address of the computer and that will show your IP address of your computer as well. In order to have a better connection, uh, I'm going to use this USB Type-C to a multiple uh, USB adapter. I've got two USB 3s, one HDMI and a spare Type-C for charging. And also this one has a ethernet uh, port. So I'm gonna use this, uh, connect to my home network, just have a better experience. Right, to make sure that iPad has active internet connection, here I have an ethernet option here and also gigabit ethernet adapter. And now here's my uh, IP address, uh, my local IP address. Now, uh, within the file app, so here is little three dots and as connect to server. And now you can enter. Here I actually have a um, SMB server already. Now on my uh, computer right now, workstation, I have a dual boot, a Windows and a Mac OS, which is Hackintosh. So they're actually sharing the same IP address. Interestingly, they use the same network adapter. So for this instance, um, I, I'm going to remove it just to show you guys. Once you click on um, connect to server, and this window will pop up. So you type in SMB and also columns and forward slash forward slash and the IP address of your computer. On well, in my instance, 192.168.1.67 and then click on connect. Now here, it will ask for the username and password. So I'm registered user. I will, for your instance, type in your username and password of the computer. Okay, here I have typed in my details and then you click on connect and voila. Now here is my local computer here. This is the C drive, you can see all the files are here. You can read and write uh, because the permission I gave uh, to iPad to my username is read and write. If is the petition is read only, you will see over here, it says read only. But if it's read and write, this simply doesn't really say anything. So you can literally create any files. Uh, for example, let me just go into a user, uh, my name, and uh, where is desktop. So I can literally uh, create a folder and say test. And voila, it's there. Now to get out the server, so you simply tap on the IP address or shared. Here is, here is a little eject symbol. You tap on it and here is simply you are disconnected. 
to enable sharing on the Mac, uh, simply go to uh, share setting and then sharing and click on the file sharing. Here are the drives you actually in the sharing um, folders. Uh, click on the plus icon and just simply add on your username so no one else can actually log in. So here I have and this is me. Right now it's a read only. I will give a full access to myself. So here, as you can see, everyone else is read only. I will just get no access. I will do this to every single drive. So just give me the freedom to have read and write uh, permission to all the drives. Now on the iPad, it is the same method. Uh, click on the three dots, connect to server, and um, enter your IP address. For this instance, it is the same as the one on Windows machine. And then enter your credential, your name and the password, and then click on connect. And here it is. Now this is all the shared drives or shared partitions I have. And when you click on that, you can see uh, these are all the contents. Uh, let me see, editing. Is clip uh, where is it here I have a my intro video is playing right now is from my workstation so yeah it's it's pretty sweet all right that was how you use SMB protocol connect to uh, Windows or Mac on your iPad running iPadOS and also apply to iPhone as well with the iOS 13 uh, or above. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something new and um, if you did learn something new, please share the video so other people can get the same benefit. So, yeah. so see you guys in the next video.